This is the Louis Armstrong Park in New Orleans, Louisiana. Across the street from the edge of the French Quarter is located Louis Armstrong Park. Louis Armstrong Park was built to preserve the history of the Congo Square and honor Louis Armstrong and the jazz legacy in New Orleans. Look for the arched main entrance. It's one of the most Instagrammable sites in New Orleans. In this video, we'll provide directions, what to see, parking, and tips from our own experience. Welcome to HipBig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. Please like this video and write a comment. We really want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. This is the New Orleans, Louisiana Travel Guide series. This episode is the Louis Armstrong Park Travel Guide. Louis Armstrong Park is a 31-acre park in the Treme neighborhood surrounded by St. Philip Street, Rampart Street, Basin Street, St. Peter Street, and North Bellere Street. The main arched entrance, which leads into the Congo Square, is along North Rampart Street. It's literally across from the edge of the French Quarter. It's located at 701 North Rampart Street, New Orleans. Parking in this area is by metered street parking or paid parking lots. We got lucky and found metered street parking on St. Peter Street and Essence Way. All metered parking except credit cards. If you are at a parking lot, particularly premium, they usually will need an app to download and then uh, pay for parking with your credit card. From our parking spot, it was a quick walk to the front of Louis Armstrong Park. Louis Armstrong Park is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the winter and from 8 to 7 p.m. during daylight savings time. Once at the iconic iron gates of the park, we of course took pictures in front of it. The iconic white metal arch is designed in the postmodernist style and reminiscent of the entryway of the Tavali Gardens. This gate opens to a wide walkway that separates Congo Square to the south and the newer sections of the park to the north. The Louis Armstrong Park was designed by New Orleans architect Robin Riley and was named after New Orleans born jazz legend Louis Armstrong. The park also pays tribute to jazz and African American history in New Orleans. This park is registered as a National Historic Place. On the left hand side as you enter from the main gates of the park is located the historic Congo Square. Formerly known as Place des Negres, it took the name from a tradition of enslaved people who gathered there on Sundays on their one day off. Enslaved people gathered together here to sing, beat drums, sell homemade goods, celebrate, and even escape from slavery. They did not walk away, they did not run away, they sashayed away saying, Bonjour, madame, bonjour, monsieur, and they politely sashayed away from slavery. Before the Africans escaped out of Congo Square. Congo Square was significant to African American history, music, and spiritual practice in New Orleans. In Congo Square, there's a giant ancient oak tree, which offers a cool resting place. If only this tree could talk. Behind the Congo is the municipal auditorium built in 1930. It's best known for its Mardi Gras crew balls. Crossing to the north side of the park, you will find the jazz area. Located along the lagoon is the Louis Armstrong larger-than-life 12-foot statue created by Elizabeth Catlett. 
This jazz area pays tribute to the king of jazz, Louis Armstrong, as well as other important jazz figures and musicians like Sidney Beckett, clarinist, and trumpeter Buddy Bolden. Beyond the Pond is a tribute to Mahalia Jackson, considered the greatest gospel singer of the 20th century. She's honored in a modern sculpture and adjacent to the Mahalia Jackson Theater for the Performing Arts. There are also several buildings owned by the New Orleans Jazz National Historic Park. Like the Perseverance Hall Masonic Lodge No. 4, which is across the lagoon to the east. New Orleans is widely recognized as the birthplace of jazz and the sites and structures associated with the early history of jazz remains in this park, as well as the city. The park also has a French Opera House, Sculpture Promenade, Louis Armstrong Sculpture Garden, Jazz Compound, Rose Garden, and a lagoon in the center of the park. This attraction will take you 30 minutes or more depending on your interest. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.